This will be more useful when I have something to identify. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Love you. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the greenhouse won't keep itself in order without a nudge from me. Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see, I grew up in London, right on the Thames. Forgive me. I was sure you must have been raised in the countryside. I used to dream of just that. But it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it 
did take some time, and whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bowl. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library my first days here. It does take a while to adjust to being here. Precisely, and I was remarkably fortunate. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. Was it Sorona Ryan? It was indeed. How on earth did you know that? Sorona has been a good friend to me as well. In fact, I retrieved a box of letters from Mrs. Sprottle for her. Oh, darling Mrs. Sprottle. She was always astonished I knew as much magic as I did being muggle-born. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seats this week. Lovely to see you. What are you up to now? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit, 
I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, I'll meet. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Stargazing as long as I could. A lot of good that did. Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. The constellations are beautiful. Not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highland. Perhaps that's what Professor Shah was talking about. Our meat thinks he knows everything. Even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. Rebellion. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. Try to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Obviously, that's How am I supposed to find Sirius? And my hands are too cold to use a telescope. Confringo! <laughs> Rebellion. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. 
I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go, then. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Revelio. It's just not as... Tidy, as I expected. Accio! Revelio! Incendio! More cobwebs! You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to school, I mean. Look! There's a table! I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Huh. 
Get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Not sure how it... I pressed Ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Halo. We need to speak with him. Revelio. Aloha, Mora. Rebellion. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. It 
Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Ah, oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry. Revelio. My husband. What will I do? Oh. Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly.
Revelio. Incendio! Revelio. Revelio. Wolves, prepare for a fight. Incendio! Confringo! Arrestable! Glacius! Accio! with that wolf pack. Revelio. We should look around. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Achi went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Achi. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Halo kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Revelio. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Off on another adventure. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Halo caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. There's 
Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine, saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Revelio. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Rebellion! Keep moving. We must find Archie. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Revelio. Rebellion. 
Revelio. 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 How? Can someone help me? Please. I need your help. Please. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. to get this open. Alohomora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Friends, darling. Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. 
Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. 